Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to discuss about um, fuzzing Rust code using uh, OncFuzz and more specifically OncFuzz RS, that is the uh, Rust binding uh, for OncFuzz. So uh, that's uh, actually a tool that I'm using a lot, mainly because uh, as some of you already know, uh, I have a, a dedicated training regarding Rust fuzzing and Rust vulnerability research and uh, basically inside this training I'm teaching how to use uh, some the most common fuzzer for Rust code and OncFuzz is one of them. So today, uh, this video will be part of the, this kind of introduction to uh, Rust fuzzing. Uh, so uh, as usual, you have a link uh, in the description below and you will directly get access to like all the content source code and, and so on for the, the first uh, part, uh, the like one of the first example using a cargo fuzz and this second one that is using uh, OncFuzz. So uh, as usual, you also have like a complete cheat sheet uh, available. So uh, I'm gonna use that as a basis for you to just follow up uh, what I'm doing. So as I mentioned today, we're gonna use uh, OncFuzz and more specifically OncFuzz RS. Uh, so um, that's basically, as I mentioned, some binding, some wrapping around OncFuzz. Uh, so the main idea is to be able to use the OncFuzz further for Rust code. So it's really easy to install. Uh, you have all the stuff uh, right there, basically uh, do a command line to install on, on Debian and Ubuntu and stuff like that. And then you just need to do cargo install on first and that's pretty much all you are uh, good to go. So that's uh, basically what I, I, uh, I have already done. And uh, right now we're gonna focus more on uh, the target we want to first. So uh, for today's episode, uh, I selected um, iQual RS, so that's this specific packet. So basically, I, I was searching on uh, crates.io and I was looking for uh, a package that will do parsing and stuff like that. And finally, I come um, at uh, this one uh, that is on the, on the parsing um, section. And basically, it's used to. Um, it's useful if you want to do a parsing of iCalc and vCalc um, file. Uh, so everything regarding calendar and stuff like that. So um, that's basically my target. So uh, what you need to do in that case, the, the different uh, uh, step is uh, this one so let me uh, i already created the stuff right there but let, let me do everything with you uh, at the same time so first you need to create a project so basically we're going to do cargo um, new and we're going to call that um, i call let's yeah i call first two because i already have one uh, and this one is available for for you so let's create this new package. So uh, we have this package right there. So uh, actually there is nothing in the cargo.toml and on the SRC there is just a, a basic hello world. So nothing interesting. So first of all, uh, we're gonna add the dependencies in the cargo.toml. So uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna, we're gonna need onc first. So let's copy paste this, um, this line and we're gonna put that in the dependencies, okay? And the second one will be the iCalc RS. So the projects we're gonna fuzz and it will be this one okay that's perfect we have everything we need for the cargo.toml so right now let's move on on this one so we can modify the main.rs uh, if we want but we're gonna um, do that in another way uh, so basically you're gonna do mkdir um, src um, sorry let's move into icalc plus two and then mkd src and we're going to create a bin folder inside this one so the main reason for that is because uh, we're going to have two different targets uh, we want to fuzz and uh, we're going to use that for um, easy uh, usage with ong fuzz and i will show you why so uh, that's good uh, right now we can also uh, create the those two different targets so we need to uh, first um, search for some interesting method um, to be first so if you take a look at the documentation of iCalc so let's click on that documentation uh, there is multiple stuff what you will see is uh, there is some uh, parser and it seems that there is two different parser the iCalc parser and the vcard uh, parser 
so those two one so you can click on that okay and uh, right there you will get like the definition with all the different uh, traits and implementations that will be there so basically the, the best for us will be to have some example and that's basically what you have uh, right there so i was searching uh, i don't remember or i goes there i think it's there parser and then you have icalc and vcart par parser so what we are looking for is code example and that's what we are getting right there we can see that uh, we're gonna read uh, we're gonna create a buff reader and then we're gonna provide this buff reader to the icalc uh, parser new and then we're gonna iterate over the over the reader so that's basically what we also want to do in our uh, fuzzing target that's the function we're gonna fuzz it will be like the alcalc uh, parser or the uh, vcard uh, parser right there so uh, let's create uh, two two new files so let's do touch um, and we're gonna do icalc uh, parser dot rs we're gonna put that into um, src uh, bin like that and the second one will be uh, v it was v card v card parser okay so we have those two files right there but it's uh, empty so for that we will need to have um, the basic template of onfuzz so you can directly uh, find that uh, on the on the onfuzz uh, repository so it will look uh, something like that um actually um let's just directly take a look at what i've done it will be more easier so src bin we have the two different stuff um, and i have this one so let me show you that more easily okay right there i calc so basically we have a macro use um, basically the template is usually this one first code here so you will get something really simple like just this main with uh, an infinite loop and the fuzz macro uh, and you can uh, put your your code right there uh, in the same way this uh, stuff will not uh, will do will do not exist that's basically the minimal template you can have for on -fuzz. so in our cases uh, we're gonna use uh, icalc so this line is not mandatory but let's uh, use it we're gonna need a buff reader because that's the way we are using the code and right there we're going to call the stuff so we have our data so that will be the data generated by the fuzzer we're going to give that to a buff reader so we're going to create a new buff reader then this buffer will be provided to the i i call uh, parser right there and uh, it's going to give us a reader then we're going to use this reader and we're going to iterate over this reader uh, to to get uh, something uh, from that and that's basically it that's the the most minimal first target uh, we can have in that case uh, for the vcard uh, parser it will be really similar we just need to take a look at that uh, at this example and you will see that the only difference is basically which parser will be used and in that case it will be a vcard parser so we are saving that and that's all we are uh, good to go so you can see right there that we have two different first targets so we can first do two different first targets and get some uh, different results and see if we succeed to uh, make it crash uh, okay so that's perfect so right now we uh, act, that's what we have done we have um, selected a target and some interesting uh, methods um, methods uh, then we have uh, created the first target so it's good and then we can just run the further so i mentioned previously uh, so it will be a v card in that case let me just move that so basically we have the uh, icalc parser so let's copy paste this command so we are calling um, we are right there let me check yeah so basically we are doing cargo h first so that's the uh, cargo sub command to call uh, on first run and we have the target so in that case it's the name of the file in the binary folder that uh, we have just created so i call underscore parser or vcard underscore parser so we are calling that it will compile the stuff 
um, it will uh, of course do all the stuff, instrumentation and so on. And after that, it will run on OnkFuzz. So OnkFuzz is right there. So you can see that's the OnkFuzz uh, interface. Um, nothing really fancy there. I mean, I, I can just tell you quickly. We have the name of the target, the number of threads that is used, and the total number of CPU. By default, it will use half of it. Uh, you will get the speed. You can see that the speed is pretty low, and the main reason for that is because we are getting a lot of crashes, so the target is crashing directly. Uh, so that means each time you are crashing, you're going to create um, the further will create a new thread and restart and so on. So that's why the speed is uh, pretty pretty bad. We have some uh, corpus size. Uh, some um, we have the coverage um, and we have the coverage update so it's uh, when we are getting a new file that will reach a new coverage uh, and so on so I directly stop the stuff because as you can see we are uh, getting a crash and it's a SIG abort so uh, the next step will be to analyze uh, the stuff uh, as well um, you can um, something really interesting to notice uh, basically right there if you are not iterating uh, over the reader for example and you are uh, calling the stuff again you will see that the further will run and uh, you will on you will be stuck to a, a really slow corpus and, and, and not a really interesting coverage so that's pretty interesting because that means uh, by iterating over this reader, you are reaching some new part of the code. And it makes sense. Um, and you will see later why. Uh, but that's the tiny uh, stuff that is pretty important to, to notice uh, because maybe you will not call any function. You will just like um, think uh, by calling this I call parser new, you will uh, reach a certain amount of code. But actually, you need to iterate uh, over it to uh, get some new code so let's remove the comment and if you are running that again as you can see we are getting a lot of crashes it's always the same uh, so um, that's pretty bad and uh, it's pretty easy to find I mean, as you can see in, in like I don't know 12 minutes uh, we are able to find the bugs in, in this library it's exactly the same for vcard so I will let you uh, give a try and it will actually be the exact same bugs uh, because the, the stuff will be generic so let me show you uh, how to also uh, analyze uh, this bug. So basically, when you have a crash um, like that, um, you can also use um, onkfuzz uh, with the uh, run debug uh, subcommand. So you can do cargo hfuzz run debug. So you are telling to onkfuzz, OK, uh, please um, run the debug target uh, of that. So you need to have like LLDB uh, installed and so on you can basically just do like cargo uh, cargo h first build debug and so on and and try to analyze the stuff manually that will also work then we need to provide the target so in that case it's i call a parser um, and then we need to provide the input uh, that is generating this crash. So um, in my case, I already have one uh, that was uh, on a previous run. So let me uh, check I call um, crash, I call unwrap input. So let's run this one and we will see uh, what the, the stuff is telling me. So basically you have like the complete backtrace of the crash. And if you take a look at that, you can see that it's running over LLDB. Okay, and we are getting thread main panicked at a call result unwrap. So we can see that this uh, bug is actually a panic because we are trying to unwrap on an error um, variant uh, of a result and we are getting, uh, we are triggering a panic. Uh, we can uh, analyze the backtrace and if you are doing that, you will see that the issue comes at this uh, specific line. So GitHub, I calc src line uh, 120 and if you are taking a look at that you will see uh, right there at this line in this line rs uh, 120 this line you have an unwrap so basically what is happening and you will at least see that right there next line basically when you are uh, iterating over the reader result 
uh, he will call this function next line and this function next line at some point will try to unwrap on a specific line on this format and uh, this specific line is actually an error um, this line uh, is uh, basically uh, incorrect the, and um, when you are trying to unwrap on an error you will trigger uh, a panic so basically what needs to be done right there is uh, i don't know basically you need to of course not use unwrap uh, handle this error variant maybe convert that into like a non variant or something like that but yeah basically there is an issue uh, there if you are not familiar with uh, this uh, format, it could be really interesting to take a look at uh, I call uh, format. Um, and basically, you will see uh, what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it looks something like that. So it makes a bit more sense regarding, OK, this concept of line and so on, what is really happening. So basically, you have multiple lines, and it will try to, to just iterate over uh, all of them. So in that case, we're on the, yeah, we're on the French uh, stuff. So I can and uh, yeah, you basically have some idea. So that's something also really interesting uh, for you. If you want to improve um, your uh, fuzzing, uh, it could be interesting to uh, create some uh, dictionary of uh, keywords that is interesting, like this one, begin version, prod ID, begin, uh, DT start, and so on. So that's some keywords that are specific to this format, and it will make sense to just provide that to the fuzzer and help the fuzzer to find more uh, bug and more interesting stuff. Also, it could be interesting for you to find uh, and, and to add some corpora that have been uh, generated by other fuzzer on other targets. It's the case of uh, this one, for example, I call uh, fuzz. So that's the result from fuzzim lib I call uh, that is using Thunderbird, Evolution, Contact and other stuff. So basically could be really interesting. You are uh, cloning this stuff, um, getting all the files inside and providing that to your own fuzzer and your, I mean, your own target. In that case, on fuzz and the, the target who are fuzzing. And maybe you will get even more coverage and find ever more bugs. So uh, really, uh, I mean, it will be worth it. So I don't know which format is it. I suppose it's just eCalc and not vCard. Uh, but basically, you can also do that for vCard, uh, vCard uh, format. So basically, you will get that right there. You can see that it will also be some uh, text format. There is multiple version. So that could be also really interesting. And I mean, you have a lot of stuff to, uh, to, to play with. So I really invite you to uh, take a look at, uh, at that. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope you will uh, give it a try and find some bugs inside this library. Uh, don't hesitate to report the bug if you want and uh, maybe improve and, and provide some pull request uh, to, to the author. Uh, that's the main goal and I, I hope you uh, enjoy it. And uh, as usual, you have uh, directly all the uh, code source and, and stuff like that directly in the description below. And if you are interested to learn more about uh, Rust fuzzing, uh, you can take a look at my training. It's basically uh, fully uh, online uh, courses. Uh, like you will learn uh, how to find bugs, which bugs are interesting uh, in Rust, how to trigger them, how to fuzz them, and also how to audit some piece of Rust code and just find some bugs by uh, looking at the code. So let me know if you have any question and uh, see you next time.